It's pretty obvious when you look at the stats that Charge Warrior is superior to Control Warrior in every single way. When you look at Aegis Replay, not only is it tier 1 in almost every single server, but it's got an obscene win rate that I have been able to mimic myself. In the America server, Charge Warrior is sitting at a solid tier 2 just under Holy Paladin at a 56% uh, win rate. In the Europe server, Charge Warrior is now at a tier 1 at 57. On the Asia server, it's at tier 1 again at 58% win rate. And in the China server, it's just a little bit under Pirate Rogue, which is going to be a list that might be interesting later because it makes use of Hook Tusk, but Charge Warrior is still at tier 1 at a 57% weight. And I myself have been playing this deck a ton, not only during this patch, but during the pre-patch, and I've been able to maintain a 64% win rate with a 58 and 33 record overall. And I also manually counted my games since the pre-patch, and I have played 40, uh, 42 games with this uh, deck, both in ladder and in open cups, and I have maintained a 59% win rate with 25 wins out of 42 total games so believe me when i tell you that charge warrior is probably better than control warrior in almost every single way due to the fact that you actually kill your opponent and not just wait them out for maybe the chance of kazakistan to be able to high roll an amazing treasure if you don't just win by removing the board because right now Control Warrior is kind of in this interesting situation because it used to be that removal was all you needed because you just need to kill Demon Hunter and maybe one or two other decks, but the meta is kind of diversified now. Paladin is up, Hunter is up I believe, and Demon Hunter is completely down at the moment. I have never seen a class fall in from, from the top of the, uh, the ladder to the absolute bottom of the bucket, so who knows what's going to happen with Demon Hunter. Maybe Fell Demon Hunter can, can take some kind of a position here, but regardless, let's talk about Charlie. Charge Warrior and why it's absolutely good right now. If you guys have seen the Rank 1 Weapon Warrior video, then you're probably familiar with some of the synergies that I'm going to present today. But I decided to cut Obsidian Smith, uh, Ashvang, as well as the Trident because those cards just seem to be a bit too much of a uh, of a target on Warrior. Because I still believe that Weapon Warrior is good against some versions of Charge Warrior, some versions of Control Warrior. But in order to target the meta as a whole, I've decided on this 30 uh, 30 card list, and I've changed a few cards in and out. Like I've played School Teachers, not really a fan of them just because they don't really progress your game plan in a, in a really meaningful way. I, I much prefer to set up the combo as, as quickly as possible because being able to have a zero mana to the front happen from, from the depths is absolutely massive because this card just needs to hit one of your combo pieces in order to make your combo come out as early as turn 8 sometimes. And even if you don't hit any of the combo cards and you get really unlucky, you still have double to the front in order to make this combo happen by turn 9, turn 10. So as long as you cycle through your deck in a very meaningful way you have a very real chance of being able to have a very flexible combo that your opponent just sometimes can't play around I literally just played a game and uh, I was trying to record some uh, some clips of the stream actually and realized that my microphone wasn't turned on so you currently see take two right now but I literally just finished a game against a, uh, a buff uh, paladin where I ended up playing faceless on their colossal minion and ended up dredging my deck, drawing a little bit more, and I got the perfect cards I needed in order to guide myself out of a very sticky situation. So this deck has a lot of ways of being able to pull itself around. But one synergy that I really need to point out is Finley Sea Guide. I, I cannot stress how important it is to understand how to utilize this card with From the Depths, because there are some situations where you just play From the Depths, so you play Finley and you get the massive amount of uh, mana cheat available at the bottom of your deck. But something else to realize is that you can literally dictate Tate when uh, when you're gonna get your draws and what do I what exactly do I mean like this uh, I I hopefully will be able to mimic this in, in the clips coming up ahead because I will be playing ladder games here in a second but pretty much what I'm saying is say you have nine cards available in your deck at the time and you have ten cards in your hand with Finley Sea Guide you are gonna play Finley and you're essentially gonna swap the nine in your hand with the nine in your deck. 
the nine that you just shuffle into your deck is literally going to be the order from uh, from left to right that you are going to draw your cards so you can literally be aware of exactly what cards are in what position so if you need to just like say draw five cards in order to get the, the key combo pieces you could set up a two turn lethal this way so th th that's just like one amazing synergy right you can literally screenshot your hand before before Finley puts it into your deck in order to make sure that you'd never forget this information so if you guys are on PC like that's just amazing I'm sorry mobile users unless you want to screenshot and switch between apps I guess you can do that but regardless Finley is amazing in this deck and can be the reason why you literally can set up two turn lethals like it's nothing so don't just think that you always play Finley after you play from the depths but other than that, you still have From the Depth high rolls. If you hit turn four Nelly, you have, uh, you know, one mana smites that you can hit. Battleground Battlemaster is absolutely broken in order to set up an amazing amount of damage no matter what kind of deck that you're playing. And notice that I'm not even playing a Viper in this deck because I am confident that if you have enough tools to be able to just go face, it doesn't matter if the Paladin's halving the damage. You can deal upwards of 60. Sometimes I think I've done, oh God, what's the most that I've done? It's really hard for me to remember because there have been times that I've had absolutely ridiculous boards happen from uh, Nelly high rolls, but I think I've dealt like about 70, almost 80 damage one time with this deck. So believe me when the, when I say the potential is there, but let's stop talking about this deck. Let's actually see some games because almost every single uh, game of Charge Warrior is, it really does feel a little bit flexible and different. So I just love this list overall. All right, so let's see if I can't get a few wins with this uh, this deck. Oh, what the hell, dude? I tossed away, like, at least one of these cards. At least two of these cards, and I get them immediately back. I love how I made the clip. It's called uh, Real Dirty Yogurt Hey Girl. Dude, that sounds like my next... Uh, that sounds like my next single that's going to sell out to for real play or whatever. I'll sell it to a yogurt company. Uh, charge, yes, feels better than Weapon Warrior, but I also run a Blacksmithing Hammer in my deck. So, like, I've kind of got elements of both. I just don't use Ash Fang, and I also don't like Trident. Oh, sheesh. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh. Uh, I guess we just picked the Buckler. Yo, Runar, thank you so much for that follow, man. Good to have you here. And Don, one, 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 one. 1-1. One, one. I don't know if I counted that, but let me know if that was as many ones as that are in your name. Good to have you here. Hey girl, would you like to be my dirty yo- uh, uh, uh. That made me bat. That made me want to barf. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if I were to say that to Libby, she would like physically vomit all over the f all, all over the place. Physical re gut like gut wrenching reaction. I will not. All right, so we do this. Draw a card. Do this. Goodbye, board. <laughs> Goodbye. But yeah, Charge Warrior is definitely better than Weapon Warrior in like almost every single way. Can't breathe. Cannot breathe. Because I'm still laughing from that moment earlier. <laughs> stone by stone. Edwin? Oh, man. Wait, why did we play that now? Oh, that's why we played that now. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't realize that he got this. Wow, you lucky, unbelievable high roller. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to draw four. Other shield shatter, very nice. Now I just need armor gain. And I hit it a heavy plate, so thank you, deck. We control and then we uh we unbreakable. <laughs> but there's just no reason why uh, you wouldn't play this deck, I think. My deck is going to get featured in trolled in uh, Hearthstone Daily Moments for sure now. Let's hope so, man. Let's hope so. I'll I'll, uh, I'll post it on Twitter probably later today. I think I'm going to do... If I do this into this shield shatter... Something something... Um, Krabatoa. I don't think I really need to worry much about that. I'm going to hyper fixate on drawing five cards with Rokara. And if he plays Krabatoa, I guess I have to tank the six, but I'm gaining 10 anyway. Like, if you're not playing Krabatoa, you're not scaring me. So it's like, go ahead. Oh, wow, he doesn't have it. Okay, that's huge for me then. Aw, oh, thanks for that, Federalist. No one. 
Yeah, hammer time warrior. <laughs> this deck is a lot is a lot of fun too. Oh wait a minute. Do I just take this value now? I'm gonna go ahead and just draw four. I don't think I care about trading the hammer. In fact, the reason I don't want to trade hammer is because I don't want this going to the bottom of my deck. Thanks for chilling with us today. Omnos? Omnos? Cannot say I've ever- Oh wait! This is Elvuleti! Wait, I know this band! I love this band! Let's see, Omnos. Oh, he played Smite! Hold on a minute, I think I might be dying here. I don't want to lose to Rogue. Rogue bad. Oh man, they may not be on Spotify. Or my Spotify might have just crashed. Yeah, my Spotify just crashed. Hold on a minute. Hmm. Alright. Can we trust someone that uses their real name as their screen name? Y y Okay, I was about to say yes because I'm giving you my real name, but at the same time, no, because I'm giving you my real name, and that's like, why would you do that, man? Why would you give your real name out on the internet? That's not trustworthy at all. Who knows what else you've just said just because. Does SoundCloud uh, also work, by the way? Uh, it just needs to be on Spotify. But I think Spotify just took a crap, so I'm going to wait till this song to end, and I'm going to relaunch it. Yeah, you can always trust Mr. Hellscream. Wait. Can this just find lethal? I I shouldn't get I shouldn't get wacky with this. I shouldn't get wacky with this like at all. I just take the guaranteed value. Make it harder for him to kill me. Next turn I can do like this into this. Let's see, that's 15. I have 22. I will trade six cards. I think that'll be exactly lethal unless. Unless the Battleground Battlemaster is literally the, the bottom third card now. After I've dredged already twice. But I- oh wait, but I also have double faceless that's available. Wait a minute. That- yeah, that's just gonna be the reason to 100% go for Galvangar next turn. Yeah, this is- this is a very safe play to make. This is Omega Lethal. No way he can kill me here. He can always charge me, says the guy who tried to uh, spread that quest lick. <laughs> <laughs> that quest lock is OP again. I <laughs> uh, can't can't fault a guy for trying, right? Wait, hold on. This is 18. Yeah, this is enough. Tis be enough. The horde is unbreakable. Yeah, what a what a shocking revelation. This deck is still good. What a shocking revelation. Why did this happen? Okay, well, I guess, I guess we're not, we're not, I guess we're done with music for a little bit then. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep Finley in my hand in this matchup. Usually, I, I don't like to keep it unless I have, um, unless I have all the value. But at the moment, I'm fighting a warrior, and I have a really good warrior matchup, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try to, try to keep it. Oh, Task Manager? Good call. Good call. Let's see if it's still a muck in the Task Manager. Oh my god, I have so many Google tabs open. There we go. Dude, you're a lifesaver. You, you save the music, therefore you save the stream. Okay, so let's let's look that up again. Um, Nose by Elvio Eddie. I love this band, by the way. So I'm, I'm expecting good things here. All right, so it looks like we're going to be going for a to the front combo. Yeah, good, good call, Darkness. Good call. <laughs> All right, I have yet to hit the most important card of my deck. This is looking like we're going to be forced to play Thresher. Maybe go for a lethal that way with one mana smite. This is really awkward. Nope, I still can't put it on the stream. <laughs> can't can't ask for everything, I guess. Can't ask for it all. All right, let's knock that out. Elvio Eddie Pog. Dude, I love this band. Like, I found them in high school, and 
Anybody? Like, they just keep, re like, resurging, almost. Like, I have a bunch of different friends that are like, Hey, you ever heard of this band? And I'm like, why, yes. Yes, I have. This is supposed to be Gaulish. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just play the weapon, but I'm not going to proc it. I'm not gonna attack. I'm not gonna play this because I want to make sure that the coin Nelly has all of the hand space that it needs. I've been lurking lately, but I've been entertained. Hell yeah, Adderall, that's all that I need. Thank you for that very positive comment, though. That keeps that keeps me uh, motivated. <laughs> keeps me very motivated. Yeah, what's going on, Renar? Good to have you here, man. We still do this, but hell yeah. This can draw smite. I guess this can help with my weapon now. Yeah, this is a very uh, unimpactful, I will not kind of unimpactful pirates here. I think this is like actually like the worst pirates for like, in terms of killing my opponent. But I mean, they're still good resources. They're still pretty good resources. The extinct uh, Celtic language spoken by the Celts of Central Europe, although we can't really reconstruct the actual language. Oh, that's sad to hear. Let's see, how do you pronounce that again? Gaulish. That was about all of my uh, exposure to that kind of stuff. <laughs> Draw the pirate. Play this. Hit face. So boom, we get the one mana hammer. Why do I feel like you're gonna say something like "gull lick my balls" or something, or "gull lick these nuts" or something? But like th uh, th th this meme, this meme that I showed you guys last week, it's showing itself again. Pick me, pick me. A word I don't understand. Is this a D's nuts joke? I'm always scared to get caught. <laughs> Always scared to get got, man. Pick me, pick me. Y'all like this dick on your mouth. Oh, got him. Got me. Truly, a man of of uh, of sophisticated language. Let's see. I have another forged in flame. Maybe this is the way to do this. Do I even need to do this now? I think I might still want to do it. I'm only drawing these cards. In fact, yeah, it's 100% the reason to do this. Pulling up this so that way I know my uh, my draw order was. So there's Shield Slam from the depths, a Heavy Plate, as well as an Outrider Axe that, uh, that need to be drawn. Well, actually, no, Heavy Plate was shuffled in there, so it, it's kind of random on that one. But yeah, I get to draw five, and then the Faceless of the Captain Galvangar will, will show up. And then the next three draws are literally all good. So I think this is how we tip, we tip things in our favor. We hit him in the face, destroy our weapon, play Rokara. Yeah, we whole nine yards. I've seen them live before, uh, just before COVID, uh, with their latest album. Oh, dude, that had to be a freaking, that had to be an amazing show. This could actually just give me lethal. Yeah, see, oh, sorry, hiccups. <laughs> hiccups really getting me right now. This is why I love the hammer, dude. This is why I love the hammer so much. Okay, so now it's Faceless, Galvangar. Wait. Okay, so I need to wait a couple of turns, but at the same time... No, I actually trade this. I trade this because it's Galvangar next. And then the next draw will be another Faceless if that didn't just get put to the top of my deck. So we play this, we wait, and then we win the game next turn. Yeah, as long as, long as the, the Blacksmithing Hammer didn't trade itself with the top card... 
then the next draw is 100% going to be Faceless Manipulator. And this is how pro players can manipulate this deck. Quest lock was not a thing. No, I baited you. <laughs> Sorry. You got you got baited. Wait, hold on. How much is this actually? Do I need the other two the front? Hold on a minute. I didn't actually double check this. Uh, four. No, this is not enough. So with that in mind, hold on. What's the next card then? The next card is to the front. So the next draw will be lethal. Conundrum. The next draw will be lethal. No force on Azeroth can stop me. I'm pretty sure that he can't kill me here. I don't think he's done enough mana cheating. He hasn't done enough card draw, that's for damn sure. Got another Somber Quest. Everything that rem uh, that remains. Wait, everything remains as it never was. Oh, that's a sad title. <laughs> Minion. Let's see. What's playing right now? Challenge is playing by Ceiling Darling. That doesn't stop me. Bam! Two zero mana to the fronts. Disgusting. <laughs> oh my god, I love this deck so much and it works! Especially since a pro player can just do whatever they want with it. So no, <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, you don't technically need to remember it. A pro player would probably remember it. But yeah. Oh, he's playing rogue. Oh, he's playing rogue. I fell for the bait. I got rid of my shatter combo. Oh, dude, I fell for the bait. Oh no, I thought he's not actually playing warlock, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is NA. Yeah, he's not playing Warlock. I done goofed. I need my Shatter combo back. I need my Shatter combo back. No, I threw. If he does like a like a really nuts next turn, then I'm gonna feel real bad. I'm gonna feel real silly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and trade. I don't really care about the armor here. Trust but I want to check out this new song. There's probably no rule against. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's if anything can mimic pencil and paper. It's allowed. As long as it can, as long as it can emulate pen, pencil and paper, it's fine. Road to top, uh, road to top 50. Uh, probably not today. Now NA is the tryhard server. Is it really? I don't know, dude. I, I, I feel like I see a lot of people trying some really gimmicky stuff on this server. Like I don't know. I don't I I don't know, man. I'm not very sure. <laughs> Oh, for me, yeah. Apparently, yeah. Whenever, whenever I would, yeah. I guess that's true. <laughs> Wait, this is plus one, plus one. Draw another card. Boop into boop. Easy peasy. Get out of my game. I still don't have the shatter, so if nulls come down, I have to use a brawl. In online poker, overlays are banned. The software uh, gives the poker company access to your screen. Yeah, you want to know why? You want to know why that's the case? It's because that's poker, dude. In poker, you're not supposed to have any outside help. That kind of makes sense. But with Hearthstone, with a game where, like, you really need to play your outs, like, you really need to know your outs and, like, understand, like, what's left in your deck. Like, I understand an overlay for a game like this, but in poker, oh, yeah, definitely no. I think I'm just going to go ahead and just... Okay, I don't know what to do here, actually. Part of me wants to trade this to try and find Shatter. It's like I could have just done this into this, but it doesn't really seem... Like the way to win. I'm gonna go ahead and just trade again. Wait, double to the front. Yeah, that's kind of sucks. Did I watch Eurovision by any chance? I don't know what Eurovision is. Oh, it's a song contest. The Eurovision Song Contest, sometimes abbreviated as ESC and often simply known as Eurovision, is an international songwriting competition organized annually by the European Broadcasting Union, featuring participants representing primarily European countries. I you have not seen it, no. See. Cannot say that I have seen it. Is there any reason why I would hear about it? Or are you just talking about just like in general? 
Hey man, hope you have a great stream. Keep being awesome. Aw, oh, thank you, Master of Puppets. Master, Master, Master of Puppets pulling the strings. Twisting your life as well as your dreams. Uh, hiding in me, there is no escape. Just call my name, because I hear your screams. Wait, I don't feel like I said all the, all the lyrics right, but you get what I'm saying, man. You get what I'm saying. Thank you for the support. <laughs> good to have you here, man. Hope you're having a good time. Ooh, juicy from the depth value. Honestly, if this hits Battleground Battlemaster, this might just win. Chop your breakfast on a... On a... Well, what? Chop my breakfast on a... Miri... Mirio? The song is good. Oh, we got another song request. I might have to listen to this off stream. I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to worry about getting DMC ed. If this hits Battleground Battlemaster, is this just lethal? It's not lethal. I guess we just take the shield chatter, so that way Rakar is super OP. Then I also have like Outrider Axe and whatnot available. Hold on a minute. How exactly do I want to do this? I just have to outvalue them, and right now I have way too much stuff in hand. I think I'm fine with just taking the damage because I need to be able to fight back next turn, but like... I could have just done it this turn. Maybe that was actually the out. Yeah, that actually just might have been the out. I'm focusing way too hard on popping off my Rokara. Let me copy that real quick. Perfect. All right, three minutes on. I have no idea how to pronounce this. No one crosses the uncrowned. Oh my God, he's oh jeez. That's a problem. No force on Azeroth can stop me. All right, I gotta wait one more turn on Finley because I know that he's gonna summon a bunch of minions and then give them the vine shield. At the same time, this. Is this just like a lethal setup? Did I just like wait so long to just set up lethal? 15. Unless I hit him for like a large amount, I don't think that's gonna happen. So yeah, we're just gonna play Brawl into Finley. It's Rocky time. I like how happy this music is, I'll give you that. <laughs> I like how happy this is. This sounds like Surge Tonkin. Oh my god, it kinda does. Serge Tonkin, except he's making happy music for once. Very unexpected. Oh, now I can fit this. I have double fortune flame, so I'm fine with shuffling these cards, I think. But I just need to keep myself alive. I love this song, by the way. <laughs> this song is great. Oh, yeah, he just knows. Oh, this deck is so good! That top 200? That is top 200! All right! That is... I think that's probably a good, uh... You know, let's, let's do one more. All right, going up against Priest. Okay, this might be kind of difficult. If this is Naga Priest... Maybe, um... Just a little bit more in the air. And if it's not, then I'm just gonna feel bad. But if this is uh, Boar Priest, I really need to cycle through my deck. Yeah, it's looking like a Boar Priest. It's not impossible for me to win this game, but it's very improbable. 42%? That's way better than I originally thought. But it is Naga. Okay, it is Naga. The Queen's Trove is forbidden! Raid Dane? I think I want to raid Pocket Train because he's a newer streamer and, he, and uh, I want to give him as much support as possible. But at the same time, he actually has more viewership than Dane right now. Oh my god. How the tables have turned. How the tables have definitely turned. Killing this because it has five life. Not enough data. Okay. Not enough data to find out right now. <laughs> Ah, oh, too good.
I have no idea how I'm supposed to play around this deck, and that's why it keeps beating me, dude. How am I supposed to beat this? Like, I have to keep killing the biggest, uh, the biggest HP minion. God forbid I get hit for, like, a ton. It, it feels so bad, though, because he's literally making every single minion into a threat with this deck. Like, I need to hit, like, from the depths, I need to hit... Weapon and... I, I need card draw, yeah, that's what I need. Because this deck can afford to not go wide. I have no idea how I'm supposed to play around this. With a drunken sailor, what can you do with a drunken sailor early in the morning? Pick me, pick me. I don't even know this song because of this song, but because it's just because of SpongeBob. It literally sounds like SpongeBob background music. What if I let him go wide here? Like I could survive at this less life total, right? <laughs> Bro, what is this song? Okay, <laughs> it's it's a little much for me. I'm just gonna just gonna go to my playlist. I'm just gonna go to my playlist. All right, not not bad. Yeah, now we definitely play the brawl. I can't wait any longer. It could be fun to add one or two return copy cards to use Finley to turbocharge, get in the bottom discounted combo. Wait, what? Wait, what? It could be fun to add one or two return copy cards to use Finley to turbocharge, getting bottom discounted combo cards faster. Are you talking about like playing Finley, Anybody? then like playing like Youthful Brew, and then bouncing him, and then playing him again? Because that's a lot of steps that need to happen, and a lot of things that need to go perfectly. Pick me, pick me. Oh, I'm not dead, right? No, I'm not dead. Just make a big minion. 1 5 is good, too. Oh, you're talking about the minion that survived. Do I just really have to play second brawl? Then how do I deal with the other minion? I will not be denied. All right. I mean, ah, uh, this is not going as planned. I've been uh, beaten Naga Priest by stabilizing at 1 HP. They have nothing from hand. Yeah, but like my issue is I, I keep running out of cards to remove. Like they always have a minion. If they have nothing on board, that's great. But I... <laughs> that's not the issue that I'm facing. The, fi the issue is the fact that they always have a minion on field. They always have this buff. Oh my god, this, this Stormpike aid station is so good. Why is it crushing me? Stops my Outrider Axe combo too. I, I need to hit Fortune Flame. Finley? I haven't even played From the Depths yet. Oh my god, more combo. I think this guy is God Gamer. Dude, I agree, man. This has been insane. He hasn't even done the Radiant Elemental combo yet, guys. Like, I'm so screwed, right? I, I have no idea. I have no idea what else I can do here. Why did Linkin Park st stop making music? Uh, I think the answer is pretty obvious there, my guy. <laughs> I think the answer is pretty obvious. I don't know this. I mean, this guy could be a god gamer. They could definitely become a god gamer. Yeah, yeah. Federalist pretty much told you what how what happened. Like Mike Shinoa still makes music himself. But yeah, I just played. Oh uh, wait, uh, six four one against Control Warrior with this nonsense occurred a few days ago. Perhaps you had some advice to improve. Uh, I'll take a look at this list, but I am about to end the stream after this game. But it'll be a very quick assessment. But uh, if you if you check out the Discord, communicate with me in there, and I'll give you some ideas on uh, how to improve it. So uh, I would I would suggest putting it in the Discord so I don't. Do Oh, I'm super dead. I'm super dead. Yeah, this is this is why this deck is super good right now. We made it in the top 200, so I guess this could be. A Wait, hold on. I'm a oh, that's exactly. Oh, that's sad. 
that was exact lethal. All right, well, that's that's good enough for a video on Charge Warrior. This this deck just slaps, in all honesty.